welcome to Bearded Meeple. When it comes to theme, companies always seem to have the big three somewhere in their wheelhouse. Zombies, trains, and pirates. But every now and then, a game will come along with one of those themes, and it's like, wow, they, they got it right, and it was still fun. Well, today we're looking at a game that plays two to six people, ages 10 plus, in about 45 minutes. It's a train game, but the thing I liked about this one is it had a classic game feel to it. It was very easy to learn. It played quickly. I enjoyed it. It's brought to us by Columbia Games. It's The Last Spike. Let's take a look at it. In the game, the board has 12 routes going between nine cities. The game will end when the last spike makes a complete route from St. Louis to Sacramento. Between each city, there are four pieces of track of varying value. Each city has five cards. The more cards you have, the more money you'll make when that city's route is completed with another city. We also have money in values of 1,000, 5,000, and 10,000. Let's take a look at the game. The tiles are all placed face down and each player will draw four. The board is set in the middle with the cards off to the side. The amount of money you get will be determined by the number of players. On a turn, you will lay one track and pay its cost. Collect a payout if there's any, buy a property, draw a tile, and your turn is over. When it comes to laying a piece of track, if you build next to a city, you pay the cost. Here, it would be $6,000. However, if I wanted to place F2, it's not next to a city or an existing piece of track, so the cost would double, and it would cost me $10,000. So I'm going to place B4. I've paid my cost of $6,000. Now you can collect a payout, if there's any. The only time it'll pay out is if it completes a route between two cities. The payout value is determined by the number of cards you have connected to that city. I can now buy a property. As I've built next to the city, I get the land zero for free. If you get a free one, you don't get to purchase an additional card. However, as the game progresses and I place another tile, I can then buy more land connected to Dodge City, so my payout will increase because I have more cards once a route is completed. I will then draw a new tile, my turn is over, and the game continues. As soon as St. Louis is connected to Sacramento through one of the routes, as soon as the last spike is placed, the game is over, whoever has the most money will win. And if you find yourself running low on money, you are able to sell land back to the bank. However, the bank will not buy a free land property, nor buy any city that has made all its possible payouts. And you'll only get half the value rounded up from the bank. And that, my friends, is the last spike. And yes, the game is random in the choosing of the track tiles, but the real game? That's managing your money. Hopefully you're not having to wear yourself too thin if you're building in the middle of nowhere. And when it comes to buying the cards, try to spread yourself out so that if a route does get finished, you can at least cash in on a decent payday. The other thing I will say, it would have been nice if the game had paper money, but I nitpick. As I said in the intro, it has a classic game feel to it, was very easy to learn, played quickly, and I did enjoy it. I hope you get a chance to check it out. I'll talk to you again soon.